So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this holographic cut crease look. As you can see, it's uh, very very shiny and I have this holographic eyelid tape. So when you blink, it really really sparkles. First step is foundation. I don't know how people do this like very like artistic the way they dot but like my dots are always like random It's good to start the the front with like upward strokes like this because that's how normal eyebrow hair grows so at the back, then you go downwards like that. For today's look, um, the eyes are already very dramatic. So I think it's better to keep the rest of the makeup more subtle. So you don't freak people out. Okay, I'm done with my brows. So I love nose contouring because it gives you an instant nose job. And if you already had a nose job like me, it gives you like a better nose job. I love to put this little line at the bridge because it looks like I have a bit of a button nose mm, and then I love this thing in the middle where it looks as if like you have a very deep I don't know even know what this thing is called Contour my high forehead so it doesn't look so high So, on your cheekbones, oh my god, look at that. And a bit here. And a bit here. It's actually a holographic highlighter. So that's pretty cool, look at the sheen. So what this is, is actually a holographic uh, nail foil for fingernails. So um, instead of like using it for my nails, I'm going to be putting it as a cut crease or eyelid tape. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because you actually need to cut out the shape yourself. So you vaguely need to know what shape and size to do so you can sort of like experiment a few times. Maybe the first time you'll get it wrong but eventually you'll still be able to get it right. So I am first going to draw the two um, shapes that I'm going to cut out. You have to keep in mind that it's for both eyes so the shapes cannot be kind of the same. It should be a bit more rounded in front and a bit more tapered at the end. Just like how the eyelid tip looks like. As you can see, I sort of like have a cut out here already that I sort of did yesterday to try out the look and amazingly enough I sort of like did it the first time and got it right Okay, so I'm done with drawing my two shapes now I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut them out um, It's probably a good idea to cut a bit bigger than what you think you need so that when you put it on your eye you can sort of like adjust it still when you cut the inner corners try to do a bit of a more rounded edge so that it doesn't poke the inner corner of your eyes and make you feel very uncomfortable okay so i'm done with one side if you are thinking like can i actually reuse these um things that i cut out for another time because it's so difficult to cut out no you can't it's only a one time thing so sad. Here it is. You can sort of like put it on your eye to see whether it works. Like okay, this works for me. It's staying there with the sheer power of like my eyelid muscle holding it. And the other side. Yeah, for people with single eyelid, this actually works as eyelid tape as well, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to be putting the glue on my eyelids. I think it's easier to put it on your eyelids than on the tape, because the tape's a bit flimsy. So, sort of like, vaguely know the area that you're going to put and just put it there. Keep in mind that you are supposed to leave a bit of space for your eyeliner later. Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. So attention seeking. Oh. 
Okay, so I think I'm done. I am tilting my head to the side so it doesn't stay in my face when the like the specks of eyeshadow drop off. I'm gonna use the smaller brush for the bottom part of my eyes. Must have been a magpie on my last like previous life because I love shiny things. Okay, so now I'm done with my liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna blend it out a bit more with my eyeshadow so that it like melts into each other. Just the edges. Next step, eyelashes. I usually also put a little bit on my inner corner because it, it won't stick otherwise. Cut it to the appropriate length. If it's too long for you, then it will like look very funny also. And try to leave a little bit of a distance in um in front of your eyes. Otherwise, it will keep poking into your inner eye corner, and it's very very uncomfortable and itchy, and it will put you off for seas forever. Yeah. So when you're putting on the glue, choose a glue that's more strong. I'm actually using this brand called Eye Cream. Um, you can actually find it in Sasa. I don't know what like weird brand is like. It's like Marie Beauty, probably like some China brand that like uses, I don't know, dead horses or something like that, but it's really, really strong. Okay, I'm done with my eyelashes. Next, I'm going to be putting mascara on my lower lashes. Then I'm going to make my ugly mascara face. Print screen, ah, all the haters. Oh my gosh, you look so ugly putting mascara. Like, you think you look very good with putting mascara, is it? Hmm? Okay, let me try to do a chill mascara face. I really cannot. Back to ugly. Okay, I'm done with my eyes. Last step is um, just lipstick. And then the excess on your finger, you can put more blushes. Pro tip, don't waste. So um, I'm sort of done with my face and the final step is to set the face with loose powder so you can go out for the night and not have oily skin. Why must we produce so much oil on our face? It's like very irritating. Yeah, scientists should work hard to like solve this problem. Oh, they did. It's called Rakuten. But it destroys our liver, so do something about it. Okay, can we like have no oil and no aging at the same time. That would be great, thanks. Thanks scientists, get working. I think I'm done, that only took me 3 hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you create the look, remember to tag me so I can see your creations. Maybe you're wondering why like my channel is sort of revived again. So I've decided that I want to do more makeup tutorials, uh, beauty related videos for you guys. If you are into that sort of thing, please do subscribe. If you're not into it also, please do subscribe. I don't know for what, but just do it. Leave some nice comments. Not nice also leave, as long as you leave comments, can already. And you can like or dislike the video as long as you press on something. Yeah, don't just like watch it and go away and don't care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.